Hey guys, so before we get into this video, I first want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Dossier Perfumes, for sending over two amazing scents that I'm going to show you guys right now. So this one that I'm about to hold up is called Spicy Mimosa, and it's inspired by Joe Malone's Mimosa and Cardamom, and it smells identical to the original. If you notice the ingredients on the bottle here, the top notes actually are Mimosa and Cardamom, which I can smell right off the bat. And then it shows the middle notes and the base notes, which add clean, subtle hints and really allow for the citrus and the spice to carry through. It's a very flirty scent and definitely a beach scent. And this next one I have for you is Gourmand Patchouli. It's inspired by Thierry Mugler's Angel. This one is so meant to be a summer nights by the campfire kind of scent. You can smell the fruity flavors as well as the caramel, vanilla, and cocoa base notes for that added sweetness. Very strong patchouli notes here too, of course, which I'm definitely a fan of. So now I want to tell you guys a little bit more about Dossier perfumes. So first of all, all of the perfumes are vegan and cruelty free. Very clean ingredients as stated on the bottle. Usually when I read perfume bottles, they might as well be speaking gibberish, but I'm so glad that Dossier takes great care to ensure that every bottle is high quality and smells just like the original and they employ ethical and healthy practices, not to mention their customer service is amazing. Upon receiving your Dossier perfume bottles, you will also get a card that details the notes, what the perfume is inspired by, the concentration level, a thank you note, and a how it works section at the bottom in case you need help with your order. There will also be a sample bottle included. I also want to emphasize how affordable these perfumes are. So the Jo Malone original retails for $144 and the Mugler original retails for $120. And Dossier bottles are only $29. So I definitely recommend getting a few if you're interested, especially if you like to layer scents. But I can also offer you an even more amazing price if you use my code SIMA10 for money off. It really helps out the channel when you guys check out my sponsorships and really helps me make sure that I can keep creating looks for you guys while promoting the brands I love. Now onto the video. Going in with one of my new favorite summer products, I'm using my Neutrogena Radiance Serum and Primer. I apply just a few drops and using my hands, I rub it into my skin. I absolutely love how you can immediately see my face become brighter. It kind of works like a balm in that sense, which I really love because it leaves my skin glistening. Then I go in with my Urban Decay Hydromaniac Foundation. This is my summer favorite. I just apply about a drop or two on my brush and then I just tap it onto my skin. And I really like this foundation because it operates like a tinted moisturizer would, which is essential. Then going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, you guys can see I'm definitely running out of this concealer but nonetheless it is full coverage and I was able to scoop some product out of the bottle to apply to the core areas where I need to meaning under my eyes and pretty much on the bridge of my nose as well as on my forehead. I'm going pretty light with my makeup today so it's not really that big of a deal and it's actually doing a really great job of covering the areas where it needs to. I'm also going to apply some on my jaw and my chin area as I normally do, albeit it is a lot lighter coverage. But just to go over that, I do have my LA Girl Pro Concealer in an ivory shade and I pretty much just reapply on my under eyes as well as my forehead and the bridge of my nose just to brighten up that area a bit more because I do love a bright eye look. And I'm just using my fingers to tap the product in. So overall, I'm really not using that much concealer. It's really just the technique that makes a very big difference. And you guys can see it's blending in very beautifully. Going in with another concealer, I'm using this for my cream contour. This is also another LA Girl Pro Concealer, obviously in a 
darker shade. I think this is called Toast, but I apply it onto my cheekbones and I go kind of down to my chin area just to give more structure to my face. And I also use my fingers to apply it to the sides of my nose to contour my nose as well. And to blend it in more, I'm using my foundation brush once again, applying the same technique that I used to my foundation earlier. And I'm just going to tap the product onto my skin in pretty quick and successive motions. You guys can see it's already blending out pretty beautifully, which I love. And it does take some time, but it's well worth it. It definitely chisels your face. I'm also kind of pushing the product up into my forehead and also lightly brushing around my nose because I know I didn't apply that much contour to my nose. And it's also kind of messing with my nose piercing. But it's looking good so far. Going in with my Derma Blend powder to set everything. This is one of my favorite setting powders ever, not only because it's a translucent powder, but also because it's a very sweat proof powder. So I like to apply it over the places where I applied my concealer before going in with my Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette and applying the lightest shade possible to set my brow bone and also provide a little bit of a base for the rest of my eyeshadows. Going in with a peach shade, I go over my lid with that just to brighten up my eye area. Add some color to the lid. Then I go in with this lovely brown shade. It's kind of a light brown that I apply to my crease. And you guys can see I do wing out my crease a bit because that's what complements my eye shape. I kind of have a mix between swiping and doing pretty like angular motions with my brush depending what I'm in the mood for. But generally, this technique works for me. Again, paying special attention to creating that angle at the very outer corner. And just gradually darkening it as well. Going in with a black shade, I'm using my eyebrow brush and I'm just gently filling in my eyebrows. Not really going too crazy today. I'm just shaping them to my liking before going in with mascara. This is my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I love this mascara so much. So I'm just gently applying a few coats. You guys can already notice a difference between my two eyes. This mascara is really good at giving kind of like a spidery effect to your lashes, which is why I, re I really appreciate this mascara. It gives kind of that faux lash look without trying. So now finally, I'm blending out my setting powder. You guys can see it has done its job. already looking photo ready so now just a few more steps I'm gonna go in with my bronzer this is my essence bronzer 
And I'm pretty much going to be applying that around the places where I applied my contour. I kind of like to think of my bronzer as the setting powder for my contour, even though I tend to place it a little bit above where I placed my contour, but it definitely complements it and gives my face a much more golden look. Going in with the same brush that I use for my eyebrows, I'm taking the excess residue and just tight lining before going in with my Milani Coral Blush. And I'm just applying that a little bit above where I placed my bronzer, focusing more on the higher parts of my cheekbones. Going in with my Milani Lip Gloss as well as my L'Oreal Lip Liner, I go ahead and I make my lips look very lovely while also giving kind of a natural look considering this lip liner is kind of a nude shade. It's great if you want your lips to look luscious but also not overdone. Going in with my black eyeshadow once again from the Makeup by Mario palette, I'm using that to tight line my eyeliner. I didn't really want to go too crazy with my eyeliner like I normally do. I kind of just wanted something subtle that will accentuate my lashes a bit more while still complimenting and paying tribute to the natural aesthetic. So I'm just kind of focused on the upper lash line. And then final step, I apply my highlight to the tip of my nose as well as the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow as well as the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. my final step I'm using my Way Wave hair oil and my Urban Decay D Slick setting spray and this is the final look thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check out Dossier perfumes link in the description down below and I'll see you soon